So the question today is, can you use Tinder if you're a guy over 50? I'm a guy over 50 and I did join Tinder um, maybe about a week and a half ago just to kind of see what it was about. The divorce that I'm going through is pretty much done and I'm not totally ready to like get into a relationship yet, but I am kind of a little lonely if I'm being honest and thought I would kind of see what Tinder was all about get into the dating scene a little bit and see if, if it works for a guy like me. Anyway, my name is Jeff Campbell and I'm from divorcedparentsclub.com and we're getting into Tinder today, all the ins and outs and whether it works for a guy in my situation, which is probably your situation too if you're watching this video. So the first question that came to my mind is, should you lie about your age on there? After all, most people on Tinder are not my age and younger women, which is typically what I'm attracted to, if I'm being honest, you know, may not necessarily want to be with a guy that is my age. So I thought about that long and hard and I ended up opting to go with my real age. I just sort of felt a little bit better about that. Didn't want to start off a quote unquote relationship on the wrong foot by being dishonest. So I did put my real age. I don't think I look 57, which is the age I am as of this recording. Uh, I think I probably look 10 years younger than that, but I didn't want to be dishonest about it. Figured, you know, if everything else fell in line, then who knows, would see what would happen. So how does Tinder work? Well, it's very simple. Basically, you open the app once you create an account and everything, and, and then people that you're looking for start popping up on the screen. In my case, I specified that I wanted to look for women. Um, and I, you can specify an age range. I think it goes down to 18, although that is too low for me, obviously. And I, I don't even know how high up it goes. I think I set mine somewhere in the range of like 24 to 52, just to kind of see what would show up. And then women's photos start showing up on my phone and I'm, I can either swipe left if I don't like them or swipe right if I do. You can tap to see how many pictures they've got loaded. Some people just have one, some have multiple. I put multiple on mine. And then you can hit a little, a little icon basically that gives you all the description and things that they're into, tells you things like whether or not they're a smoker. Um, and you can kind of get some more information. What I've noticed though, is that a great deal of women only have a couple of photos and many do not bother to put the description. And what that tells me is that Tinder is really oriented just around looks. And maybe that's because it's more geared towards hookups than actual relationships. I'm not entirely sure since I'm still kind of new at this, but it, that's what it seemed like to me. I had a complete description in mind, uh, as well as at least eight photos, because I wanted to give a complete picture of who I am and what I'm looking for. But a lot of women I've noticed do not have that, especially in the younger age range, but really across all ages. So again, you swipe left if you don't like them, you swipe right if you do. One other thing you can set in the settings is how far away they are from you. In other words, do you want to set it to like five miles, 10 miles, 20 miles, up to 50 miles or more? The problem I found is that it always knows where I am. In other words, it uses GPS to locate where I am. And so, it, uh, for instance, for spring break, I'm going to be on vacation in Florida with my daughters and it's going to tell everybody that I'm in Florida and I'm not looking for uh, a date while I'm there in Florida with my daughters. So I do feel like that that's kind of problematic. I think you can fix that if you opt for the paid version. I'm talking about the free version right now because that's what I use. So again, sometimes you'll see it'll, it'll just, somebody will show up there and it'll say lives 1100 miles away. And that's because they're visiting where you're near. And if you're looking for a hookup and they are too, then maybe that works. But it wasn't quite what I was looking for. I'm not necessarily looking for a one night stand. I'm not fully ready to dive into a full fledged relationship either. So what I'm looking for is really kind of somewhere in between, but that's really how it works. And then as you swipe right, in other words, you're liking that person, they have to like you back. In other words, they have to swipe right on your profile in order for you to be considered a match. And then once you're a match, you can start communicating with each other, but you can't communicate directly with them unless they like you back. And so that is one thing that I've experienced. The other thing I've noticed is that I've had, I think three matches total in the week and a half I've been using it. And the first two 
went away fairly quickly. So I don't know if they deactivated their account or if they unmatched with me after maybe looking at my profile in greater detail, or maybe they were expecting me to message them immediately, which I did not do. Uh, I didn't want to seem like desperate or needy, so I kind of like, you know, wanted to feel it out, see if they would reach out to me. And uh, so two of them just went away uh, fairly quickly. And again, not really sure what that is. You can turn your account off. You don't have to delete your account, but if you're uh, dating somebody or if, if like for instance, next week when I'm on vacation, uh, I can turn my account off. In other words, it's not visible to anybody that hasn't already matched with me. And so that is one thing that you can do. And maybe that's what happened with those two that were matched with me initially. Another big question is what is the age range for Tinder? And again, I think on the low end, it goes down to 18. And then I don't know that there's an upper age range. However, the optimum range, in other words, the ideal range based on how many users are using Tinder is I believe 18 to like 24, somewhere in that range. So it is very much geared towards young kids basically, but young adults, and it's not really geared towards people like me. That being said, I have seen a lot of women in my age range on Tinder. So just know right out of the gate that it is really geared towards younger people. It's not really geared towards guys that are my age or your age. That doesn't mean, however, that you can't find success with it. I haven't found success with it yet, but I'm still checking it out. Like I said, I've only been into it for about a week and a half. The next thing that I want to know is, are the women that are on Tinder actually real? And the short answer is, it's probably a mix. There are a lot of women on there that either, they, they, the, all the photos look super professional, which made me question, you know, are they either a professional model, did they hire a professional photographer, or are these like stock photos that they're just hoping nobody figures out and it's not really them. Uh, the other thing that I've seen a lot are actual escorts on Tinder. And the way that you know that is one of the photos will usually be a photo of a handwritten note saying, hey, go to this website to, to book my time. You know, I do, you know, new room massage or full body massage with a happy ending, that kind of thing. I've seen a fair amount of that. And so that is on Tinder as well. So I think probably 50 to 60% of the women that I've seen on there are actually real profiles as opposed to having some other ulterior motive. So just know that going in. So I tended to swipe right more on the photos that look like real photos that they just took with their cell phone as opposed to like super stock professional looking photos. And that was especially true if they didn't have a description down below. And I saw a lot of that. A lot of women with really super glamorous photos that look like they came out of Vogue magazine or Cosmopolitan and then almost no information down below. I just swiped left on those left and right. And then as I mentioned, what actually happens when you match with somebody? Again, I've had matches three different times, but two of them went away for reasons unknown. I never have gotten a message from any of the three. I may message the third one uh, here shortly, but I, you know, I also kind of wanted to wait and see if they messaged me, see how interested they are in me. So again, if you swipe right and they swipe right on you, then you become a match and then you can begin to message each other through the app. Most people do not have contact information in their description. A couple do. I, I have seen phone numbers, although I think they have to like word them differently so it doesn't look like a phone number because I think maybe that's against the Tinder terms of service. But most people do not, in which case you have to be a match with them in order to contact them. However, the other thing that I've seen really, really commonly is that girls will have Instagram or Snapchat is even a little bit more common uh, handles so that you can find them either on Instagram or Snapchat. And theoretically, you could contact them that way without being a match. But in theory, you have to be a match with them and they have to match with you and then you can begin to message each other through the app. Anyway, this was kind of a short video. Just wanted to kind of give you a rundown of what it's like as a guy over 50 using Tinder. I haven't had any dates yet, have had three matches, Two of them went away, one remaining. We'll see. I've swiped right on probably at least 150 women uh, in the week and a half I've been using it. So I don't know how often these women are on there. I don't know if they just deactivate it 
when they get into a relationship or a serious dating situation and then turn it back on if that goes south. I don't know if people just leave their profile up and then never check it once they get into a relationship. I don't know, but I have swiped right at least 150 times and so far that's gotten me three matches and not actually any dates, but we'll see. I'm hopeful that maybe it will be interesting and, and, and come to something. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, and that way you get notified of future videos just like this one. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.